Okay, it's about that time to start our descent down into uh, Oklahoma now. We're at 43,000 feet, and we'll be given pilot's discretion down to uh, flight level 240. And I'll run the right descent checklist and into our uh, approach checklist and go through some of the functions that we would use to get ready for the arrival. So, uh, pressurization verify set, landing field elevation. We got 1152, American which is automatically set in from the FMS. We don't have to manually put that in there. That's good. Ice protection systems. We got some um, some layers underneath us here. Uh, there's no reports of any icing up ahead, but we may want to throw on the uh, engine heat and the the wing heat as we go through. Uh, altimeter set a transition altitude. If we come up down to our. Um, let's see here. We don't have the altimeter quite yet, but in Oklahoma, it's uh, three. 3011, but we'll get an updated one as we get a little closer. So that's good. And we're here. Okay. Exterior lights have got, uh, I like to go ahead and have my landing lights on for the start of my descent. Uh, it helps make things get a little bit clearer. Uh, landing speeds. Okay, so if we come to the performance page, we go to approach. Uh, I put in the, the weather conditions at our destination. So it's at HSD, 27 degrees Celsius, 1704, uh, 2992 is our current, and but it'll be 3011. And uh, from there we hit the next button. We want anti-ice off, and our V-ref is gonna be 97, and our V-approach is 104. Uh, from there, We've got the landing field elevation of 23, landing field length of 23.14 on a 5,000 foot runway. We'll plan to use runway 17 based off the current winds at our destination. Um, we'll come over here, we can go direct to air, execute. So right now we've got a pretty steep descent to get down uh, to Ilwim at 2,800 feet, which is one of the fixes on the approach. But I'll use that as a guideline. And uh, at a four and a half degree descent, that's gonna be a pretty fast descent rate and uh, we really won't need any power at all to stay right at our uh, MMO. And Fort Worth, uh, Flight Aware 47 is leaving uh, 430 for 240 now. Flight Aware 47, Fort Worth Center, Roger. So the, the V path has uh, captured the, this is gonna take us at a 4.5 degree descent rate to uh, the fix here, uh, Ilwim, uh, which is the final approach fix uh, on the approach into uh, our destination of uh, Oklahoma City at the Sundance Airport. So right here at Power Idle, we're looking at 224 knots, and we're accelerating. We might hit the red line at 4.8, uh, but the red line's moving up as we continue to go down, which is what happens with your, your MMO speed. Eventually, the VMO and MMO will meet. But so far, so good. One of the nice features on the CJ4 that's different than what's available on the uh, previous generation CJs is the uh, introduction of the variable speed brake. And by moving the variable handle, which has uh, uh, several degrees of deflection, I can manually increase or decrease the deflection of the speed brake. And uh, it makes it much smoother for the passengers. Uh, it allows me to have a little bit more control over descent. Being that this is a pretty clean airplane, Having this uh, variable speed brake really makes it a, a nice finesse uh, piece of uh, flight control equipment so that as we come in, we, um, we can manage our energy a little bit better. And of course, when we're on the ground, the, uh, all of those boards will come up um, when we hit the lift dump function. Okay, we're uh, only 33 miles away from our destination. About time we do our approach checklist and get ready for landing. The weather's uh, good at our destination, and we've been told to expect the uh, visual approach for runway 17. So I come into the FMS here to all in uh, departure arrival and pick the visual approach for runway 17, which I actually have in right there. And then here, I'm direct to a five mile fix that it's automatically populated in the FMS. So what does that allow me to do? When I'm taking visuals, it gives me the same functionality of having an ILS all the way down the runway because I have VNAV functionality as well. And uh, it helps make that whole system work really nicely. And if I go to the approach page, I can make sure I've got the right V-speeds put in 97 and 104. Speed checks fine. Below 160 full flops, flops have been selected. Sunday traffic, Flight Aware 47 is uh, 3.8 miles uh, out on final visual approach, runway 17, Sunday.